honestly, kind of sitting here, what are we, January 23rd? If I had to guess right now, I would say that there's a chance that we take a little bit of a step back next season and I kind of, you're reloading on the fly, you got to reload and reset. Um, part of me thinks maybe a, a little half step back. Part of me is like, you still got Josh Allen. You still got some weapons on this offense. You've kind of built around him. You can always add to that. Um, they, maybe it's not. Maybe it's not a setback. Maybe it's full sprint forward. Um, a lot of the players to me coming up that you're going to have to make tough decisions on. Um, your Michael, uh, Micah Hyde, Jordan Poyer, um, Trey White, unfortunately, you know, back to back terrible season ending injuries um are you able to have him back at any as any sort of you know version of who we knew Troy, Trey White to be um one of my favorite all-time bills Trey White right there it's also a business it's also really difficult decisions that are going to come down I know the organization loves him too um but for for being a guy that's getting a little bit older um just really devastating you know, lower body injuries that are hard to bounce back from in that position. Um, you got decisions to make there. Um, Dane Jackson, uh, he's, you know, wasn't great in this game, but he's been valuable depth. Brazil Douglas, tremendous, probably my favorite deadline acquisition ever. He's also not, you know, a spry young guy. Um, so just... A, a ton of question marks going into the season. That's kind of just on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, you also got Puna Ford, Daquan Jones, uh, Epinesa, Floyd, move over to the offensive side of the ball. You got um, Gabe Davis is the highlight there. But there's just so many players that are up right now. And I feel like this time of the year, it always looks more concerning than it is with Brandon Bean because he does so many like of the one year contracts there's a lot of turnover every year um, there's usually a couple guys that we really want back and we're upset when they don't come back and then we replace them with somebody else that we really like um, so we'll we'll see what Brandon Bean has up his sleeve um, but I will say as much as I have the concern that we might be taking you know, a little half step backwards this this coming season. Um, but my reason for optimism is also just it's like right on the same level. Uh, I mean, we we have a guy. Um, everybody was really concerned with the linebacker position going into this year. Well, now you have uh, Terrell Bernard looks like you know a star in the making. Um, unfortunately, he, he's hurt down the stretch. Um, you you went this whole season without Milano. Um, he's going to be back and healthy. Um, you saw Elam get get a quick look at the end of the season here. You know he struggled at first and then comes away with a huge interception and a couple pass breakups. All of a sudden, you know, do we have something there again? Um, Dalton Kincaid um, was just great throughout this whole rookie season. We saw Shakir emerge. James Cook become you know a superstar running back. Um, probably most importantly for how long we've talked about keeping Josh Allen upright. Just tremendous job from the offensive line this year, um, keeping the continuity there. And for the most part, these are some younger guys with kind of spaced out contracts. Um, you know, Osiris Torrance, a rookie. McGovern just signed a contract. Um, Spencer Brown's going to be coming off his rookie deal. Uh, Deion Dawkins been extended. Um, Mitch Morris is probably the only guy that you're you're thinking about. Maybe you have to make plans for sometime soon. Um, but I feel like we've been having that conversation for like four or five years now. Um, you also have, you know, Brian Bates as your valuable depth there. Maybe maybe is it time for him to step up? I, I don't know. We'll we'll see what happens there. But the consistency that we got from this offensive line uh, is it, probably the biggest biggest thing for me. And then, you know, kind of like how I talked about with the Chiefs and they had um, Velda Scantling and Kadarius Tony, and they, they were just kind of these these 
whiffs of people that they thought were going to be impactful. I, th I feel like we had a similar situation with Sherfield and Hardy. Personally, I was very excited for both of them. Um, and, and both of them were very small factors in the offense throughout this year. Um, I'll tell you, as I sit right now, number one on my wish list this year is to go out and bring in like Gabe Davis walk. Um, there's a lot of things I like about Gabe Davis. I think we need the the true field stretching ability at the number two receiver. Um, and go ahead and bring in one of these kind of value value veterans that we've seen over the years. Your Smoke Browns, your Manny Sanders. Bring me in one of those guys that can start week one if need be. But go out and make some some valuable um, valuable investments at the wide receiver position um not only you know has this become a league where you can't just have that true number one and then kind of some guys around him teams are starting to have like two bona fide studs at those positions and a dangerous guy in the slot i think you need to start looking for not only that true number two receiver but you have to acknowledge that Diggs isn't getting any younger and I think we, for the most part, all love digs. Father Time is undefeated, and I, I would be looking for maybe even a double dip at receiver this year, maybe one in the early first couple of rounds and one a little bit later. Um, we've seen Bean have some success with some late-round picks, and um, Khalil Shakir, Isaiah Hodgins, who's obviously not on the team anymore, but had some success. Um Give me kind of a flyer on a guy you like in the fifth round that maybe maybe they can take over and um, be the number two for whatever guy that we draft that can be a number one um, and just, just keep the cupboards full for Josh Allen. Um, I think there's some work to do on defense too, but this team is going to go as far as Josh Allen and the offense go, and we, we've seen that for, for, for years. You know, the defense can be great and help out push comes to shove in the league right now it's what you can get done on offense um so you gave josh allen some some meaningful investments this past off season do it again um you brought in a lot of offensive line help um to sure up the depth just keep keep going keep loading up josh allen get him another wide receiver too and if you Shit, it's it's kind of the Elam Benford situation here, where you know Benford was a late round pick, Kyrie Elam was the first round pick. Benford ends up being the stud, and we're still unsure about who Kyrie Elam is on the team. Do that for me at receiver too. Uh, if if your first round guys doesn't work out for whatever reason, hopefully you got a, a, another fifth round hit. Um, Beans had some great success with the late round picks. Love for it to be, you know that. True stud first round pick, but if you're getting guys, you're getting guys. 